So this is a coxal bone which forms part of our pelvic girdle. There's three fused bones which make up a coxal bone. The top portion or superior portion is called the ilium. The inferior posterior portion or down and towards the back is called the ischium. And the anterior portion or the bit facing towards the front is called the pubis. Now the borders for these three fused bones form somewhere around here. So above my fingers, or superior to my fingers there is called the ilium. Beneath and towards the back is the ischium and towards the front and beneath is called the pubis. So the borderline between the pubis and the ischium forms halfway along this bridge or ramus. Now there's a, another couple of distinguishing features on the coxal bone which help us determine uh, which side or it, it, which side the coxal bone is. The first is we've got this spherical socket uh, called the acetabulum. And this is the socket for the ball and socket joint of the hip where the femur or the head of the femur attaches into. So we know the femur attaches to the lateral side. We also have this rough or articular surface edge here for the sacrum. So the actual sacrum attaches to a coxal bone like so. Now if we've got the head of the femur on the lateral side and we've got the sacrum edge on the medial side, forming the sacroiliac joint, then this must be a right coxal bone. So this is a femur. There's a couple of distinguishing features on the femur which help us determine that it is indeed the femur. The firstly is it's got the spherical head on top of the narrow neck. Now, the spherical head indicates that it forms part of a ball and socket joint. There is only two ball and socket joints, uh, one being the hip, so it certainly narrows down uh, which bone this could actually be. The other things on the femur which help, help us determine which bone it is, it's got these two round spherical objects on the lower end or the inferior end. They're called the condyles of the femur. We've got a medial condyle and we've got a lateral condyle. Two condyles sitting next to each other help us also determine what kind of joint forms at the knee, which is a bicondyloid joint, and that's how it gets its name. Now you'll also notice that the femur's got this natural posterior curve to it. That also helps us determine which femur this is, because if the ball and socket joint is on the medial side of the femur, and the natural curve always goes posterior or towards the back, then this must be a right femur. So this is a tibia. There's a couple of distinguishing features on the tibia which help me determine that it is indeed the tibia. Firstly, we've got these two grooves at the top or condyles on the tibia. These condyles are matching the femoral condyles which help determine that bicondyloid joint of the knee. On the inferior uh, end of the tibia, we've got this one lump which protrudes further than the other side. This is called the medial malleolus. We know that the medial malleolus is on the medial side of the leg and if you feel down towards your ankles, this is the lump that you can feel protruding out that medial side of your ankle. The lateral malleolus forms part of the fibula, so it cannot be seen in this description. Now you'll also notice that the tibia itself has this posterior curve to it also. Now if we know the tibia is the medial bone in your lower leg and the medial malleolus is on the medial side of the medial bone, then this must be a right tibia. So this is the fibula. Uh, the fibula is more difficult to determine than some of the other bones because there's less distinguishing features on it. But it does have a couple. Firstly, it's got the head of the fibula. And you'll notice here the head of the fibula, there's a lower side. Uh, the lower side of the head of the fibula points anteriorly. So that's towards the front. Now on the uh, inferior side of the fibula, we have what's called the lateral malleolus. Now if you feel down to your ankle bones, that lump in the lateral side of your ankle, that's what we're indeed feeling is the lateral malleolus. 
On the medial side of the fibula, we've got a shiny surface. That shiny surface is an articular surface which joins to the tibia. So if this is the lateral bone in your lower leg and the articular surface must adjoin the tibia which is the medial bone, then this must point, point or face inwards. We also know that the head, the lower portion of the head, faces anteriorly, so this must be a right fibula.